So, hello YouTubers. This is my promised Burnside footage. This is when I took a vacation to Portland and visited Burnside. I had to buy a deck while I was there and I took my trucks with me in my luggage just so I could skate. I wasn't able to carry any pads. So Burnside in Portland, which you probably played on Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 or Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. And it's probably in several other games too, I would imagine. It was fairly intimidating. There were a lot of really good rippers there. Some of them looked like they were homeless and just stayed there at Burnside, but they were super good. And I felt really intimidated while I was there, and so my skating was not the best. I really was there for about two and a half hours, but I barely even got out there. Partially because I didn't have any pads and partially because I was just intimidated. See me fall right there. Wow, that was a fall. Let's watch it again. And again. But anyway, see, it's a really cool place, super huge area under the bridge here. And by the time I drop in on the little stuff I'm dropping on, I'm losing speed by the time I get across there. But I wasn't feeling it much. So after that, I said I needed to go do some park skating and learn how to skate a little more transition. So here I am. This was a, that was a five foot side that I was that I'm dropping in on so that's the highest thing I've probably ever dropped in on I would imagine or close to it and I'm going down and doing some backside kick turns so I was pretty proud of this I've been visiting this park as of late a few times I just went last week actually and then dropped in from uh, on the right side of that pyramid which is a little taller it's at the maybe five and a half foot right there but it's a little steeper right there, so you come down a little faster. I've yet to... Let me see, I'm trying to do a little uh, backside air when I come back across. But, yeah, at any rate, it's pretty scary for me dropping in for the most part. And I'm doing these backside kick turns pretty easy, and I'm going up to the top of the coping, so I don't know why I don't decide to mess around on top of the coping, but it's so scary every time I try to get up at the top of this coping. It just scares the heck out of me. Now I'm trying some front side airs though, and I just figured out that I could do some front side airs really. I got above the cup in that time. But anyway, this transition skating is something I've been meeting to practice. You've seen my bowl footage maybe before in the big bowl, uh, but I didn't drop in any on that. But I was doing kick turns and stuff. But now I'm trying more advanced stuff with some ollie airs and stuff which I like to do. I used to could do them a little bit when uh, I was a young skater before I quit. Oh, there's another front side air. So there we go there was a, it was a hill flip. But anyway I'm dropping in on the other side and launching up the bank here. There was a hill flip. I think the first one was a kick flip. I'm watching a small monitor here so you're going to get a front side shove. And a varial flip that I only hit 90 and then fell out of. And here's another varial flip that also turned 90 and was not able to get out of fast enough without putting my hands down. And there we go. There's another one that I didn't have to put my hands down. I did land. But I also did land 90. It's hard to get ready to get barrel flips and banks. So, these are my first real front side alleys. This is my local park, which I really hate. It's a prefab park. But I just went here during some other things that were I think my wife was at the gym. And I was able to get front side airs at a pretty good rate. So, here I'm back at the park again for another session. And here I take you through a line in the bowl. So, see I drop in. And then I come around this backside carve. 
come around again. Anyway, it's just basically showing you the park here. All right, I get a little front side hair off the hump. And I come in here and come down and do a backside air. That was the best one I could get on film, but it was pretty good. The backside airs are a lot harder for me than the front side airs. There was a backside air, but it wasn't so good. And here's my almost obligatory nose slides every time I go to a place where I can do a nose slide. I like to show you. And so here I am at the Fremont Skate Park. And I'm doing the obligatory nose slides. I did some other stuff here, but I didn't get a, do a lot of filming. And here's a fall. And here's another good fall at Fremont. So anyway, I hope you enjoy what I'm putting down. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And I've got a lot more stuff coming. I've got some never been done before tricks that I'm about to put out here. And see you next time. Bye, YouTube.